结束捷克公园两千论坛，前总统蔡英文看到台湾留学生在门口热情送别，开心问候。要记得喝这边的可乐哦。青年学子隔空喊话，想送上可乐，蔡英文笑开怀，成为卸任总统半年内访问欧洲的第一人，这一步意义重大。And I have been given a lot of thoughts on where I should make my first stop once I am rested. Finally. I decided that one of the most meaningful and important things I would like to do is to connect and be among like-minded friends. 蔡英文也提到，即便中国在他演讲当天展开环台军演，台湾民主绝不妥协。Authoritarian regimes, in an increasingly aggressive manner, are now Aiming to erode our citizens' confidence in democratic institutions and polarize our societies. Amid all this, Taiwan stands on the front lines of the assault. The people of Taiwan demonstrated time and again that democracy is a non-negotiable part of who we are. 强调民主是台湾唯一的选择，他也声援乌克兰和民主盟友合作反威权，才能不受威权的威胁。Taiwan's democracy, similar to European democracies, was built on the sacrifices of those who fought against dictatorships. Democracies need to send the signal that intimidation and use of force against any member would result in serious consequences. 蔡英文也在 IG 上分享参访捷克景点的影片，也预告将启程往下一站。据了解，他将造访位在比利时的欧盟总部，会见欧洲议会的议员，继续缔造前所未有的纪录。民事新闻这么报道。更多精彩新闻，请下载 App 订阅民事新闻网。